Okay, so I'm a little behind. I'm trying to catch up. My bad. I've been having my little lazy days in bed where I've been sleeping. How many of y'all have not had no sleep because you work all the time? And you're so glad that now you can relax because it's the weekend. Because it's Saturday. And I feel good. Okay, so I'm going to use one of my new decks. Um, this is my Aries reading, okay? I was going to do Leo first, but Aries... I'm going to use this deck to help me. This is, um, I call it Mean Girl Oracle, but it's not that. It's called um, the Gypsy Tarot deck. So, shout out to whoever made this Gypsy Tarot deck, because this is what's up. Okay, so we're going to use this card to pretty much control the Aries energy of the reading, okay? What is Aries going to be like for the month of August? What is Aries going to be like for the month of August? Aries going to be like, give me three cards. <laughs> three cards. Okay, they did give me three cards. Okay. Letter, Sweetheart, and Melody. Ooh. Okay. Some of you guys are going to expect the unexpected letter. This is Mercury Retrograde, y'all. So y'all could definitely be in, co in co communication with someone from the past, it seems like. Someone that you like. Sounds like you really like this history again. Someone could be giving you a letter through the mail. Someone could be texting you, calling you. Someone definitely wants to have a conversation. The sweetheart card. So you may actually get a letter from someone that you love <laughs> or someone that loves you. A lot of you lesbian ladies may get a call from someone that you love, a lady. Um, guys, you could be getting a call from or a letter from or a text from someone from the past or maybe now. I did get Melody, which is sickness. So um, maybe someone is sick. Maybe someone is pregnant. Maybe someone is going through it. Maybe mentally. <clears throat> uh, maybe you're going through it mentally. Maybe you're going through a period of anxiety or, you know, um, stress or depression. Uh, maybe you're going through it with this person. Maybe this person is going through. And they reach out to you because they are going through some things that are very concerning. Um, let's look here. Now that we got our focus. So Aries, you need to focus on your mental health this month. Uh, <clears throat> some of you guys are waiting for some news from someone that you love or care about. And I feel like, <clears throat> um, honestly, the letter may leave you sick or this person may make you feel like they leave you in a position that you feel like you're... Feeling lowly. Oh, there you are, baby. Get comfortable. Okay, so yeah. All right. Let's look at this Melody. It was good until you did that. Melody. So, if you need help with your mental health, that's great. Okay, so the Six of Pentacles. Ooh. Yeah, giving to yourself. This is the element of give and take to yourself, making sure you're okay. Investing in yourself, asking for someone bigger than you to invest in you, a counselor, a therapist, life coach, guru, um, someone that definitely has your best interest at heart. And Six of Pentacles is about um, giving and taking and having someone in your corner that's going to give to you and you're going to give to them in a more therapeutic expression. Um, maybe you're sick of giving to this person. This could also be your sick... This person could come back into your life <clears throat> and you're sick of giving to them. Could be that. Let's see. What is Melody and Sweetheart? Okay. All these cards go. Queen of Cups could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe you're moving on from someone. Um, let's see. The Empress could be um, an Earth sign or could be a Virgo, Taurus. Um, Libra could be Capricorn, but I definitely get Virgo and uh, I get the Temperance card. Not Temperance card. I said Temperance. Could be dealing with Sagittarius, but um, I, I do get um, you're cutting off your mother. Could be your mom. Maybe you're moving from your mom's house. Ten of Cups or Two of Cups. Maybe it was an argument between. Maybe this is you and your mother and you had an argument with her. Um, things have not been on the up and up lately. And you've been feeling like you and your mom have definitely reached your end. 
Um, the magician. Yeah, you maybe your mom doesn't like your petitions, or maybe your mom doesn't like the way you're creating things. The Knight of Pentacles. Maybe she feels like you're in a stick in the mud and you're not doing anything. This can also be about a man who comes into your life. He could be a Virgo or a Leo. Um, this person is reversed because they're stick in the mud. They don't really give to a situation at all. Um, I do feel like this person is. They they take the low road. They don't have the financial aspects or the financial abilities to build. That's why they're not the king. So you see that they're still immature in the ways of money and finances and offers. Um, what is the Queen of Cups doing here? Okay. So the Three of Cups and Knight of Wands. Some of you guys could have been in a third party situation. Some of you guys could have been drinking. The Knight of Wands is about someone that's aggressive, overly aggressive, or they're not reliable. Uh, it also talks about be careful about Facebook posts. If you put anything up on social media, be careful. You might actually get caught in a third party situation. Um, <clears throat> I got the sun, the ten of wands, and the five of pentacles also. So the sun, the ten of wands, and the five of pentacles can definitely be an energy of someone feeling free. Um, someone get, you might actually get a reprieval. You might actually be able to help yourself out this month financially. Um, uh, maybe you're dating a fire sign, but someone's going to help you out and you're going to come out of debt. Or maybe someone helps you out and you have a mature relationship. You know where someone stands and you're free. And you're no longer trying to be emotionally kept down. This can be multiple ways. I'm going to put it next to this other card. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. I want to know what this sweetheart card is. What's the sweetheart card? Oh, no, 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 no. We did that one. The letter card. Okay, the letter card. We want to know what's in that letter. What's in that letter for Aries for August? Oh. Okay, so Ace of Cups, someone is turning down a love offer or someone is offering something that's not moral. Um, this can also about be about waiting for a little while. Maybe you want to wait because you feel like this offer will not be enough for this person. This person will turn down the cup, they'll throw it out. Imagine being on a date with someone and they give you a cup and you just throw it on them. This Ace of Cups, like, no, I'm not interested. Um, temperance could be about waiting till the dust settles, could be a Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Sag, um, you guys are having arguments and standoffs. Ace of Cups can be about a relationship turned down. This person is completely not in love with you anymore, or you're not in love with them. Um, the Will of Fortune, it's a cycle. You guys are going through a cycle with this person. Um, don't worry. Something hidden is about to come forth with that relationship. Judgment in the Seven of Pentacles. Someone made a very critical or nasty judgment about you. And seven of pentacles, you will be reprieved. That's for those who are dealing with Sagittarius or fire energy. Um, you guys are going to build from where the bad judgment were and pick up. Could be Sag Moon, Sag Rising, Sag um, Mercury. Whatever, any, any placement, you know. Okay, let's see. Could be balance, you know. Let's see, anything else for Aries? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be starting a new business. See, it's sowing seeds. Going to a business venture. Oh, shit. Um, nine of Pentacles. Be careful about theft or squandering. Be careful about depending on other people. Five of Swords could be about game playing. Someone that puts you in a very fucked up position. This can also be about you taking care of yourself. Nine of Pentacles can be about you being lonely, having a lot of money. Maybe you start a new business and you work too much and you have a lot of money and now you're being selfish. Um... Yeah, I, I don't get that, though. I get an era of, the, like, be careful when you start your new business because you will probably lose money because five of swords, seven of swords, and three of swords. I just see all these swords. After the loss of money, someone is going to try to fuck you over. You see this deception? They're going to try to get away with it. And three of swords, they're going to try to break your heart. Be careful about new business ventures or new beginnings with any earth sign because it seems like they it come with bullshit i do see like someone that's trying to be financially dependent on you to take advantage of you you know to to pry into your life if you got anybody in your business trying to pry into your situation tell them to fuck off but it seems like they're trying to pry into your situation and then they get you know maybe you tell them hell no and they get disappointed and leave but it's definitely a frolicky game, an era of, hmm, what can I do now to fuck up Aries' day, you know? Be careful. 
Okay, anything else for Aries? I'm going to get more into these cards and extended reading, by the way. Um, yeah, five of wands and the chariot. Someone is definitely trying to stop your movement. It could be you trying to make a choice after a fight or a competition being over. And you feeling like you're stuck and you have to make a decision on the fly. So, I'm going to tell you something. Um, be careful about people giving things to you. Um, you may have a breakup or you may be moving on from your mom or some person who is not giving you enough. Um, the two of cups can be about emotional uh, relationships that don't work out. You love this person, but they're a stick in the mud. They won't go anywhere. Magician, you're trying to create something with this person and they're not doing anything. They're just not moving along the way you hope, okay? Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for the Aries video for August. If you would like the extended reading, feel free to hit me up. Thank you so much. You have a good day.